From here, this last time, I have understood there is no turning back. The torch is failing along with my resolve. I can hear the singing of the sea creatures from the passages above me, and they are promising the return of the gulls. Hmm. So it looks like uh, our trip was down here was a bit violent. And if you see right here, our flashlight is broken. But instead, someone has lit these candles. Plus the uh, luminescence of whatever type of bacteria or fungus is down here in these caves. So it looks like we'll have to find our way out through the caves. There's that bright fungus right there, you can see it growing. I do like the soundtrack, by the way. I actually ended up buying it. It's very ethereal. Candles. There is no other direction, no other exit from this motorway. Speeding past this junction, I saw you waiting at the roadside, a one last drink in your trembled hands. Here we have another example of what really looks like an electrical diagram. Nerve cell. Not quite sure what that one is. And another electrical diagram with another nerve cell. Same. I like the water and lighting effects here in the caves. You can see the reflections on the ceiling. I just recently came back uh, at the time of this recording from uh, a trip down into some caves. It's pretty fun. Not quite this uh, illuminated. We had to bring our own, turn on uh, some more artificial lamps in order to see stuff, but still, very cool. Maybe not as cool as this, though. <laughs> now that is a waterfall. And once again, doesn't look like we can just skirt around it, so it looks like we're going to have to take a little dive. Whoop. Ugh. Okay. Fortunately, there is a way out right here. Have a quick look up there. See the water coming down? Splash our face a little bit. Careful, this part slippery. I 
I have no idea what illumination is coming from there. It's, it's got a different hue than the fungus does. Fungi. This way looks like dead ends, so we'll go this way instead. It's way too bright to be daylight. Something else. But I have no clue what. Ah, here we go. So, over there was where we came, and we did our little jump. So now we need to make our way around this way. Very careful. Whoa. Some red marks here. I don't know, it's just... Is that supposed to be uh, iron in the rock? I'm not sure. It's around here, too. Wouldn't surprise me. But then again, I'm not a geologist, so what do I know? Another candle. Duck down here, get underneath. Probably on our hands and knees at this point. I like the little shiny effects on the rock. It shows you that they're wet. If the caves are my guts, this must be the place where the stones are first formed. The bacteria phosphoresce and rise, singing through the tunnels. Everything here is bound by the rise and fall, like a tide. Perhaps the whole island is actually underwater. You can actually see, I think... That's a turtle or a fish or something that was just swimming by there. At least that's what it looked like to me. These caves are just gosh darn pretty. Got some crystals here. Another random drawing of a diode. Not sure what that one is. Another dead end, but well, we can cross over at this point, I think. Can we make it up this side? Yes! Alright. Electrical diagrams. I don't know what they mean. A little beach area here. These definitely look like some kind of footprints. A bird's nest. And another x-ray, it looks like. Although, again, I have no idea of, of what. Another x-ray there. Come up this way, I think. It's 
It's way down here, so I believe it's uh, going up over that bridge is where uh, you kind of move on. So I'm going to take the lower road here first. Really scope out the full extent of this part of the cave. Now that is pretty. Let's see. Very nice. It's like a cavern chandelier. So you have two definite motifs in all of these drawings. Here's another dead end. Actually, it looks like a lot of the... Uh... Oh, wait a minute. No, those aren't crystals. What are those? These look like paper boats filled with writing on them. And they've all been carried to this place. Whoops. Don't want to drown here. There we go. Okay. Well, that's weird. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Two definite motifs. It's the chemical... Or three, I would say. The chemical diagrams the um, pictures of nerve cells, and the electrical diagrams. So this time... Not sure what that one's supposed to be. This time we will go over the bridges. So this one first. Turn and go up to the left. Come around here to the upper level, move up again, leaving the grand chandelier chamber behind us. These kind of remind me of geodes. way off into the distance to who knows where. We have to go this way. See them shimmer as you walk by? Very cool. I will hold the hand you offered to me. From the summit down to this well. Into the dark waters where the small flowers creep for the sun. Headlights are reflected in your retinas moonlit in the shadow of the crematorium chimney. It's got some candles over there. Let's see if we can get a little bit better shot. Now this makes me wonder, is this the bottom of that large shaft? Does it go all the way down here? I'm not sure. But in either case... Let's take a trip up here. Now there's a ton of drawings up here, but we also get our first actual words. Behold, Damascus is taken. Wow. Another Damascus word down there. Someone was really busy with the paint up here. 
nerves on the left and electrical diagrams on the right, and then it flips over. It's just obsessive is the word that comes to mind here. Away from being a city is what that says right there. Some interesting glowing vines here from the top. We must be getting closer to the surface. Let's see. And a and it shall be ruinous. I can't I can't make out that last word. It shall be a ruinous something. Interesting. I have no idea what that sound is. Sounds kind of like water. Oh, maybe it's this water here. Yeah, it's just a very echoey sound of water there. Hmm, looks like the rest of this cave is underwater. And again, doesn't look like we have much choice. Get some air. See a waterfall. Another hole. Is way high up there. Looks like is that twenty two A G T S twenty two something? I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. There's that water. Maybe this is the bottom of that big shaft that we saw up top. Let's see. Is there a... There, I don't know. It kind of looks like there might be a passage beyond, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get around this hole without falling. Definitely not on the right. Maybe on the left. I'll try it, and if I fall in, then I fall in. Yep. This is definitely not a cave. This is a street. A highway. At the bottom, a medical table with an IV drip. And car parts. overpass in the background. Almost looks like it's day. I have to keep moving around or else I start sinking almost immediately. Royal Portleth Dock. Polistead. Services. It's hard to read it. It's all mossy. There it is. Southwest Winston M5.
so. I wonder what that was. Hallucination? Vision? Not sure. We definitely fell, though. And this pretty much concludes chapter 3, known as, for obvious reasons, the cave. And now up to chapter 4, the last one.